And now we're on to the next set, Fabsies versus Beanie slash Steam. And the reason we pronounce out the Beanie slash Steam is that there are two Beanies. Unfortunately, the Beanies are not in the group together. It's just Beanie slash Steam here versus Fabsies. And there there is indeed a hidden H there. Don't don't ask me why. How do you know? Um, because because yeah. Fabsies told me. He's a liar. <laughs> He's lying to you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Fabsies is someone who has not played competitively for a little while, has not been able to because of an unfortunate bug that's been in the game for a bit. Uh, however, that bug did get fixed, and Fabsies is right back in it for this Summer Cup. Really, really excited for that. Uh, I don't you know, know how much you know about Fabsies, but they probably have one of the biggest you know repositories of Spy Party replays. Like, other than Checker. Yeah, no, probably the biggest. I sent him all of my replays, which was, like, two and a half. <laughs> you, you sent him all of your replays? Yeah. Oh, God. All right, well... On top of that, he's just really, really good at this game. I, oh, I, yeah. No. I, I wish Checker had maybe waited on the patch until after Summer Cup. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Free Thabsies. All right, Thabsies has been freed, and we'll see what, uh, what he can do against Beanie Steam here. Um, as we get into this first game, as again, it's going to be that eight game set ballroom, high rise, library, courtyard. Fabzi's going to start us out on spy as rocker as soon as we are ready. We're ready. In three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, I've been playing Tabzi's a bit in, uh, in casuals since the sliding bug was fixed and he's, he's just so good. It's scary. We're gonna get a highlight for a potential bug here, looks like. That's really unfortunate. We could have taken a standing bug uh, right there before um, the sniper laser got over there. But getting, I mean, either that or it's just the closeness on the, uh, the book pad. But we're picking up a highlight for only having 34% progress on the flirt, and that's not where you want to be. Yeah, probably a bug credit. Or flirting. I mean, I guess Taft is also highlight. That is true, uh, but Ta Taft has gone to center statues, so I feel like there might be a difference who, there. Who highlights for center statues? What? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed that Tabsies didn't pick Seek as his first spy. Is it, uh, just, be just because his Discord avatar is Seek? Yeah. All right, 66% on the flirt. That is the only progress we've got. A minute and 15 into this game of ballroom. The double agent kindly joins us in this conversation. We could be going for a contact here. It would be decent. There's a few people out, actually a few more people than you might want, uh, especially as our ST bails. Two people now who have gone to our statues are now out for contact. Which is a little bit rough, but we don't. Uh, Beanie does not actually pick up the low light on Taft. Yeah, you typically want to keep in some of these statue goers uh, in for your contact. So Tabsy's maybe not paying attention to it, maybe he doesn't care, uh, maybe has another plan. But yeah, as you said, it is unfortunate to knock out Mom, and you know, uh, from the spy's view, Taft should also be knocked out. Yeah, here comes a re uh, request on the purloin, and we just green that away that could have been disastrous if it had been a white uh we are a highlight after all and we are uh, you, know, you know being a suspect and doing a white test can be just brutal uh but in a green test instead could just save the game for us the list is indeed seen general is brought back to a highlight from being a bb low light and safety off on beanie was not sure about uh, be, uh, maybe Beanie thought that they were taking some risky lowlights with their BBB, and now is regretting that choice because they're not sure if General was risky or not, and the Purloin has just made it a really a, a brand new suspect for us. Yeah, that's something that you're going to see that, you know, you learn the hard way as you play more games is like, if you miss the Purloin, just don't, don't take lowlights or highlights off of it unless you're extremely sure. So it's like probably just trust your low light there and just give them they just they got the mission past you, you know. 
because you'll get screwed so many times by fingerprint trying. on this drink. This could be this could be our finish from Fabsies here. We're gonna go in for this briefcase. It's a little bit close to the ambassador. I don't know if this is illegal, but it is fingerprintable. This is gonna be the last one. There's gonna be no overtime. We're gonna finish off the the mission here. We're gonna to hand off the briefcase and we're being safety off on, but there is no shot. Yeah, I guess possibly waiting for overtime, but Tamsi's timed it perfectly to where it's finished around like one or two sec two seconds left on the clock. You can tell that Beanie really, really wanted to shoot there. The difficult fingerprint off the drink, I think, is what saved us. Uh, um, if we, if our fingerprint had been a bit more obvious, I think that shot would have been a lot easier for uh, Beanie to take. But. In this case, it was there was just enough doubt. There was just enough other, you know, there were just, an, just enough other suspects like General still being a suspect that late in the game. You know, it's underrated how how much, if you have other suspects, that can cause you to hold a shot. Yeah, and Psycho pointing out in Twitch chat that Oprah, who I think was the only other person in that conversation when we were returning the case, was talking to us, which is a hard tell that we're the spy. Oh yeah, that could have been really, really bad for us, um, but fortunately it didn't seem that Beanie noticed it and we didn't get shot, so now we're on to this next one, Fabsy sniping on Ballroom to break away 2-0, but right now it's just 1-0, we'll see if Beanie's team can uh, get back into it in 3, 2, 1, playing it, playing as Teal. Surprising we didn't go for the flirt there. Yeah, uh, I think maybe that we were worried that our ST would leave before we got the flirt off, and so we'd have an extra flirt pair, flirt pair moment, essentially, without actually getting flirt progress. But Instead, we're just hanging out in a conversation on the far left side of the venue with the ambassador and the DA, doing an innocent talk, I guess setting up a false flirt pairing with Oprah, so as long as we avoid Oprah for the rest of the game, there's some value in this. Ends up going for a contact. This contact's... Okay, this contact is good, but for the fact that there are multiple, there are four people who were in conversation, but not in for real. Uh, and this could be something that Fabsies decides to memorize or light for. And if they do, then there's a lot of reason to keep someone uh, who otherwise might be a suspect kind of low-key in Fabsy's mind just because they don't have contact. And we do have that contact. But I think it was well split enough. It was like five people who had contact to four who didn't. That it's not actually that easy to do, right? When it's very, very few people who have contact or when it's, ev when it's very, very few people who don't, it's a lot easier to say, okay, these people don't have contact, or these people do, and maybe light for it even, than it is when it's just that evenly split. Yeah, I think changing your lights in that moment would be pretty good, like highlighting all the people who have real. It's <laughs> mm. working on a timer flirt here, and we're spaced out. Um, I think Beanie needs to... Try to work on a, uh, we don't have a third or a fourth mission lined up and I don't think we have time to just sit here and timer flirt at this spacing. I think after the end of this talk, they need to go inspect or microfilm or bug or fingerprint or Perlin or do something. Yeah, this is a pretty slow game. We are almost done with our flirt, but if we stay here, it's gonna take us a while. Um, so we're going to go in for this side inspect, and notably, Fabdi is not highlighting for side inspect, so we're not going to pick up that big old white border around us unless... Yeah, no, okay. I thought I thought, I thought thought Fabdi was about to prove me wrong, but in fact, we're just going to highlight Stanley, who's getting up the full inspects. Uh, we could go for a bug on the way past here, but Fabdi, look at that beautiful angling for it. We, we moved over to that corner angle to watch as the spy passed by the ambassador. If the, if Beanie had taken that bug, it surely would have been death. 
So nicely held by Beanie to make sure we're not dying for that. But that does mean that we are worried about progress at this point. We only got 30 seconds left, and we still need two more missions. We we do have half of our inspects done, but we still need more than that even. We'd have to go for an inspect swap, perhaps, or for a purloin inspect, something like that. But we're not going anywhere near that. We're going to the windows. We're going to request a drink from Toby. We're going to check our watch, but it's not for a time ad. We're going to go for a purloin. Probably it has to be, but it doesn't matter because Kane gets shot late in the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, surprising shot on Kane. I don't know. It but... looks like it's for um, looks like it's for a fingerprint finish, but the ambassador didn't, leave, didn't actually leave a fingerprint on that book. Yeah. That's still, even though it's a sieve shot and a point loss for Tabsies, it's valuable information to, to look and go, hey, my opponent had uh, pacing issues this game, so the next time I'm at um, a round where I'm sniper and there's 15 seconds left, if someone's not showing me that they're finishing, it's very possible that they're just going to time out or have to force through a hard tell. Yeah, I have to wonder if that was a, a phantomed bug, reverse drive-by, while, uh, while at the case. I mean, we... Kane was in the middle of a sip, so it seems really hard to believe that it was a phantom. Uh, I just don't see what else it could be, because the ambassador didn't leave behind that book. Maybe Fabsies didn't know, didn't realize the ambassador hadn't left behind that book. But this is exactly one of those scenarios where maybe a bit more discipline... You know, in the end, it was a green test purloin from Beanie Steam. But, it, you know, if it had been a white test purloin, maybe that shot doesn't come off. Things like that. Um, just... I'm just not quite sure where that shot came from, and it's a bit unfortunate for for Thabzies, But we're you know Beanie Sash team is very happy because they only had you know 10 seconds left to get an, even another another mission after their purloin, so or or time ad. Yeah, it's interesting. Good information for Tabsies to pick up on the pacing for their opponent, but splitting one one on the first venue is you know fairly expected or not terrible not a terrible situation for either player. Yeah. All right, Fabsies on the spy side of High Rise, trying to take back a lead that perhaps they fumbled away in three, two, one, playing it. I'm gonna be behind by a second. Um, behind by a second. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't have spy wanna... window. No, no, it's fine. I can just fast forward if I need to. Um, ballroom though, of the four venues, is. I guess probably the one that's most likely for someone to take a 2-0 lead, right? Like, high-rise kind of also, but library, traditionally sniper-sided, courtyard kind of sniper-sided. High-rise kind of can go either way, but not as, I don't think it's as even as, you know, ballroom. Yeah, ballroom is definitely the venue where you have, like, the most uh, agency on both roles to make a lead happen. Um, so, a bit unfortunate for Thabsies there. Does seem to be confirming that it is a phantom bug on entry for for the shot so really unfortunate that 51% flirt early flirt on uh, on high rise and it's a purloin setup what we could be going for here is if we hit another green test flirt we could try to go for a really really early center inspects complete those can be heinously difficult to shoot here comes a perfect contact oh never mind it is turned from a perfect contact into not a perfect contact really quickly by two highlights even doing things that would preclude them from contacting, like, you know, picking up briefcase or taking a drink. However, only one of those low lights is actually taken. We could go for a bug here on the way past, but our cover from the front conversation in Teal kind of just walked away, so yeah, it's become a little bit worse. Abzies passes by, rejoins the front conversation with the seduction target to work on flirt. Lands the next one, it's only a white to bring us up to 85%. There goes that little plan of going for the early, early uh, center round inspect complete. Unfortunately for Thabsies, not going to be happening unless perhaps our ST goes to a side statue where we can grab center inspects while they're there and, uh, and get that last flirt at the same time. But it would just be a lot easier to shoot than that pure two flirt really early inspects. But we are still not a suspect, and we do always have the out of either Purloin or Bug. 
Yeah, both of you've got to get a little bit of party luck for it to be set up properly. Like, you need to either get some rejects or you need to get the conversations filled up in such a way that you get enough cover to take the bug. And with only a minute and ten left on the clock, it's a little bit worrisome to gamble on such luck. I don't know if we're quite in range for a standing bug. It's just It seems to be just outside of that that golden range where you're not forcing the ambassador out but also not you know but, but also in range of that bug so a bit unfortunate there for thabsies the ambassador didn't quite get close enough but our st nope not gonna stop by yeah and laser really staring down the seduction target here um sniper not liking that they were doing the briefcase fingerprint is off so probably just uh looking to see if it was a briefcase bug uh, I just, I, I think we might need for this purloin to be green test. Here it is, though. Green test purloin. We still need to get that last flirt, however. Where is Alice going? She's going out to this, to a briefcase. She's going out to a briefcase. We can't finish with that. We're going to have to go for a bug late in the game, maybe. But it's not going to be taken. We're not going to do that. The purloin comes off. It's, but the shot also comes off. The shot is prompted by the purloin and we don't actually need to finish and look at when this purloin happens 12 seconds left just in time to avoid a potential overtime if teal was the spy and beanie is forced to w to shoot before they can find that ot yeah tabsy's timing is just good this is another reason that we consider him a very kind of advanced level player where he's just even when he's behind in that sense he's still going to time stuff and land those green tests when he needs to do it and put himself in a situation where you know he forces the sniper to take a shot yeah well done to find the out in that game from Fabsies, but again it doesn't mean much until you can finally break that serve and get ahead in the set Beanie slash Steam on the spy side of High Rise is going to try to keep hold and keep even with Thabsies in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Starting out in the back conversation with nothing. The, the, the AI did a little bit of a weird like path back into combo that looked like a bad take control, but it was actually completely AI. Uh, it's going to finish off the drink and head into the front conversation with the seduction target so right now because the da is in this conversation beanie knows that the sda has to be either twin alice or disney yeah i mean it really is important to whether or not the spy is actually paying attention to things like that because i feel like you know as a spy it's very easy to kind of let yourself kind of just just play the game like you can't you can't do that on sniper on sniper you have to be focused you have to be attentive but on spy sometimes you just let those details slip away just because it's l much less mentally taxing from moment to moment and it it's not required for success but it can be very very useful to notice these kind of things like that suspected double agent required for success against tabs i'll say that much <laughs> It would definitely uh, help here. Beanie slash team picks up a second flirt right before rest. He leaves very nicely uh, for us. And maybe even gets credited with a bug as she settles up next to the ambassador. Reverse drive by an option there, but with no front coverage on the conversation and would have been very much seen by the sniper. So kind of just hanging out with the DA, which is good, I think, you know, against the sniper is like, look how long I'm in conversation with this DA and no banana bread has happened so that when it does happen, it's like, you know, why wouldn't I have taken it so long ago if I'm the spy? So it's good to kind of hang out with the DA for this long, but we've got to actually capitalize and take the contact before he leaves. Yeah. Uh, we do have pearls and, and, you know, one of the highlights out for contact. It's also going to be Alice leaving now. And the, the contact is very quickly falling apart, falling away from us. It used to be just one person. Now it's going to be three, and we wouldn't even have a real contact. So it's going to be difficult. We're going to have to be looking for another different contact somewhere else. But Beanie's camera is shaking. I think they've realized that the opportunity has kind of been lost right now. Yeah, I was even shaking a little bit earlier. I think they may just be... Uh, frustrated with kind of the distribution of the party. I think Beanie could still make something out of this game, you know, that has happened thus far. You still go get your flirt, you know, jump around, get your inspects, whatever you need to do. Jumping to the back probably goes, doesn't go for the bug. Yeah, Tabsies looks very, for the hand yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, Fabsies was zoomed all the way in on that one. 
double so essentially double agent is in with us now so at least there's that much we are being offered a drink we're not going to go for that late purloin like uh, like fabzy did last game we are being blocked off now by oprah if we want to try to take this bug in conversation it would we would have the visibility on some of the lean but here comes the request we're gonna go for this purloin i think now but it's gonna be a white test we're the only one that in, in the chain there's no way we get away with this but we're out we actually are low lit <laughs> right before we got shot oh no tabsy's with the bm he did that just to shoot the low light just to just to tilt beanie that much more uh i'm not sure that's quite the no, case no, but <laughs> but uh really unfortunate timing that i feel like if we had had that low light if we had had that and we didn't get immediately get shot for the pearl line afterwards uh we would have had, you know, that opportunity to take a bug, right? We The option to find a way into the last few seconds of this game without dying and without and getting away with that. But no, Tabsies going up 3-1. Yeah, jumping into library, we would expect this to go, what, 4-2? Expect sniper wins. I mean, it could really go either way with both of these players. They're both experienced enough to kind of go against the general statistic, but... Um... Tabsy's on spy looking to really jump ahead here and get a spy win, but Beanie sniping on library should be pretty comfortable to pick up another one. Yeah, let's see if Tabsy's can extend the lead here or if Beanie's going to uh, manage to at least keep it uh, even on, on library at the very least. In three, two, one, playing it. Be interesting to see if Tabsy's pulls out any like extremely aggro cheese type plays, like a pillar purloin or a you know swap quickly off of uh, off screen or something like that. Just because it can be hard to get five legitimate missions through. Yeah, that that is true. We're gonna step into a a bookcase, which you know, as much as people don't like microfilm, I feel like microfilm is kind of underrated by the community. Yeah, and we're going to actually find a free 50% flirt as our ST walks in next to us. Yeah, as long as you're microfilming, like, not a ton, uh, and you're sprinkling it in, it is pretty good. It looks like he's going to jump behind the pillar to go for a pillar uh, micro. It is completely on screen. However, Beanie is not going to notice. Uh, well, the uh, the the... It was a little bit of an awkward spot behind Pillar. It wasn't quite as hidden as you want it to be. But we do sort of blend into the dark background of the area. So even if we were over there, if we're not specifically looking in that in, in that general direction, it doesn't seem like it's going to be caught. So the main issue with this type of play is that it can be really time consuming. Yeah, yeah and we're 15 seconds short of what we would have on on a different rule set which 15 seconds really isn't that much i mean 15 seconds you probably just need to if, if you're struggling over 15 seconds you probably needed to time it anyways right we're gonna go in for our second book visit so what's interesting about doing all of this off screen rather than you know anywhere like on a book pad or anything like that is that even if you get away with it, you still could be credited with microfilm because a lot of snipers don't pay enough attention to microfilm and they, and they and if they recognize that, they're like, you know, I wasn't watching this closely enough. I'm just going to credit you with a potential yeah, right. microfilm because you were at two different bookshelves at, you know, conspicuous timings. Now, yeah. the fact that we're taking these out does change that slightly. Oh! Okay. It's an interesting low light. Very delayed. Yeah, very delayed low light for the contact. And at this point, uh, Fabdi's is in a really good spot. Yeah, talking about blending into the dark background now would be a great time for <laughs> killer micro. Yeah, uh, I don't think this there's any way this gets seen because it's just basically completely invisible. And now we walk away. There's no way we get noticed doing this. We're just not a suspect at all. We are completely invisible. Yeah. The only thing is that Tabsy should not be thinking that he's a low light at this point. So it's not like he's going to put full foot on the gas, I don't think. Um, he's still going to play it, you know, somewhat safe but aggressive. 
But yeah, with a minute, sure. Play, that's not enough time for him to finish. Oh, we take a reverse drive by, and we immediately start talking afterwards. A nice little trick to cut the animation on the bug. Uh, and I was a bit worried that with only three missions done and no indication that we're a low light, we could end up having a rough time completing, but it looks like Thabsies has decided that that is not going to be the, the way out. Thabsies is going for the win, and I, maybe this is even a swap to finish up. We, it, it, like, we're going to side inspection. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're actually going for inspects, but it doesn't matter because, uh, it looks like wheels got shot. Um, Interesting shot by wheels, right? Purloin hasn't happened, swap hasn't happened, so I don't know. I think it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe there was a. I couldn't. I, I don't actually remember exactly what the statue is. Maybe this was a swap near the end of the game. Um, but Fabsies managed to make a spy one happen, and I think even without that sim shot, we were gonna win this game. Right. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he was in a position to win. He had, what, 50 seconds left to get one more inspect. Indeed. And that means Thabsies is going to be up 4-1, securing at least a draw. Which is pretty big, but as we've mentioned before, you really want that win. We're going to have three match points coming in for the over the next three games. We're going to see if, uh, if Beanie can control us all the way back to a draw or if Thabdi is going to take this library sniper game and find three points in the standings and even if, even if Thabdi does we do play out, play out all of the all eight games for tiebreaker purposes in group stages so we'll see if maybe even Thabdi uh, could run up the score perhaps but that is yet to be seen instead we have to see this first game Beanie slash team on Oprah in three, two, one, playing it. Starting out with Drink in Hand, it looks like we're just trying to kind of chase our seduction target, waiting for a small mental land in a conversation so we can pick up Flirt. We both stop in the same combo, throw out our first Flirt, which is a green test for 43%. Yeah, there's a bit of distance on that, so we're not in range for a two flirt, but it is better than your best white flirt still. So it's not the worst thing, worst place to be in the world. I can't say, however, that I'm a fan of this early contact. That's that it actually ends up being pretty good. There were a couple of, uh, you know, a, a couple of uh, um, more low lights to be grabbed that were not actually grabbed, but. What's interesting, the Fabs is doing something really interesting with their lights right now. They highlight this entire conversation and then that went back to neutral light. Not sure exactly why. Um, I think he, he thought that that may have been like the only real combo, but then maybe realized that there was one on the left that was also real and it's just too many people. It's easier to make it he doesn't have it. Yeah, that, that does seem to be a plausible explanation. So we were about to be a highlight there but instead we are just still that neutral light and only having four low lights at this point after the contact this early on i was I, I honestly i was surprised that this contact was as good as it was usually you don't want to be contacting quite that early you want to keep as many people in early on as possible just because it does split the attack sniper's attention more and more here comes ooh a bug on the way through conversation for beanie it's on screen but i don't think it was seen yeah, the uh, the threat of that bug is just of how quickly it can be performed, and you know the execution was pretty decent, so it doesn't look like Fabsy saw it. it. It we still do need a few more missions here before we're actually in range to complete missions, but we still have two and a half minutes left on the clock, and I feel fairly decent about where we're at. Yeah, decent mission progress, but we're gonna have to get. Likely another hard tell through unless we find a way to get fingerprints done, which Hear me out inspect swap at two minutes Yeah, strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa Whoa Uh, uh, what? Yeah, tabsies. What? 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 I What? Flirt pair. Has to be flirt pair, right? Flirt, flirt pair? But we, we were never even that close to Smallman uh, I mean, we were with him at the beginning. It's really the only person that we ever 
not, I mean, obviously we talk close to other people, but that's, I think the only person that we were talking next to twice. I guess? I mean, my only, the only thing I can think is that the bug was seen and we just take a late shot to psych me out. Uh, I doubt it's, I doubt it's to psych him out. I don't know, Tabsies, why'd you shoot? Tell us in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, the uh, player insight's gonna be the only way we figure that one out. You know, we try to, we try to do very smart analysis and get, get inside the player's heads and try to, you know, figure out the reasons of what they're doing, and then sometimes the spy just gets shot. Sometimes it just gets shot. So that means that Fabsies has secured uh a win we're both right 50 50 on the bug flirt confirmed it <laughs> <laughs> ah i see all right all right fabsies confirms his win now is just looking to run up the score for tiebreaker purposes in his group uh so we're looking into courtyard fabsies on the spy side of courtyard we're going to see if they can continue the reign of terror over Brini here in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Starting out in an innocent conversation, waits a moment to let the party settle down, ends up bailing, doesn't decide to join the ST at Statues to pick up the flirt and the inspect, and instead is going to head to the side window and innocently check watch. Yeah. Innocent watch check. No progress so far. 30 seconds in the game. We're going to set up next to our ST, though. 51%. Yeah, Tabs is just on top of green tests all throughout this set. Hitting the green purloins when he needs, getting these green flirts. Briefcase redirect. Back into the same spot, so kind of kill two birds with one stone, try to bait out a low light for a good briefcase redirect and also let your flirt cooldown expire a little bit more by being away from the ST. Yeah, it's a little cheeky move that uh, won't usually pick up your... Like, it gives you a reason to go back, right? There's a reason to bail out for just a moment. 85%, unfortunately, not quite completing that flirt. We could have gone for a quick finish somewhere, go for a really quick contact into inspect swap early on. Because uh, on Courtyard, I find one of your strongest uh, options is not necessarily completing in a tricky way, but completing in a quick way. Putting that pressure on the sniper to be forcing that shot when they're not ready to take it, that can be absolutely huge. Way. We're actually going to go for a split with the briefcase after a contact. I said we weren't going to complete in a tricky way, but T Fabsies tr proves me wrong. We get low lit for it. Yeah, the briefcase... Uh, split again using the briefcase as a reason to do something else right a reason to split out of combo because they're holding the briefcase you have to land the green there for that to be as smooth as it was and again Tabsy's just coming through in the clutch and landing the greens when he needs to land them and is now in a good position to finish out this game with fingerprint and inspect yeah, and unlike earlier where you wouldn't really expect to be a low light the entire point of that play is to pick up the low light so Tabsy's has to be pretty confident that Look, this is my best chance. I'm just probably going to try to complete with these fingerprints here. And if I'm a low light, I win. If I'm not, then, you know, oh well. I've already won this set. This is a pretty good play that can maybe get me a spy win on Courtyard. We're going to push the Ambassador away from the briefcase by stepping in next to them. We're not even going to take the bug, which would win us the game anyways, because we are that low light. But Fabs is going to go for that more low-key finish. It's just a little bit safer. It's, you know, totally fine. 22 seconds left on this clock as we finish up our last fingerprint, Fabsies, putting on a show. Yeah, great pacing. Another great move to bait out the low light. Oh, and even to finish. <laughs> the taking the bug. Does that earn uh, another point? <laughs> no, no, unfortunately it does not. But that was a stylish game of Courtyard if I've ever, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, great move. Fabsies up 6-1. Now, see if he can finish it off 7-1 over Beanie Steam here, or if Beanie can bring it back for a little bit of pride on 
courtyard spy in three, two, one, playing it. God, I'm so glad Babs uses back and combined the play. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's really good. He's a good opponent, and he does a lot of flashy stuff, which is always fun to watch and always fun to cast. So, yeah, we're gonna take an early green time add, uh, which is very useful on courtyard, having that extra time to find that hard and tell. Just because of how tricky it can be sometimes to f to get it, uh, can be useful. Or like even just to have extra characters who could have fingerprint completes, things like that. As the ambassador is stepping into statues, having fingerprintable statues for AIs to pick up that can be really really big. Yeah, and Beanie really keeping an eye on the ambassador here, so it's likely to head. Um, it's kind of nodding their camera a little bit almost. It's likely to head in for this fingerprint themselves, I think. Yeah, we are gonna pick up the. This might be a swap frame. Yeah, no, this, this is a, this is a pure swap frame on. Uh, I think Tex was here first. Oprah. But Oprah? Was it Oprah? It looks like it must have been Oprah. Is the, the swap seen? Because the reaction is not quite there yet. Now the swap is definitely on camera. Here comes the reaction. Here comes the low lights. Looks like. Fabsies might not be entirely sure. Yeah, just one of those unexpected hard tells, as you were saying, kind of earlier on in the game when it's just not expected to be watched for. He is narrowing down the party. It's down to four people. Um, not so. a fan of this innocent talk. That that could be construed easily as a flirt. So if, but that that said, if we do this fake contact right now, that is everyone else that could have done it. That that Fabsies thing could have done it having contact, and that puts so much pressure to shoot on the sniper. So I feel like we, if Beanie takes this contact, the odds of winning this game really just go quite quite a ways up. Yeah, fake contact would be good, but I just don't think there's any way Beanie knows that this is a good fake contact. Well, the odds of us being in for real seem pretty low. We know where the double agent, the actual double agent is. Unfortunately, our explicit frame target, the one we know we're framing. It has now just left conversation with the, the SDA. So, you know, the fact that this contact isn't coming off is very, very telling at this point for Thabdies. I feel like you just have to take the opportunity, take the chance that they're in with, these, with, with the SDA. Because otherwise, you're just giving away information on who the real DA is or, you know, who the spy is with this lack of contact. You can do more than one contact, you know, if, if you need to. What's our fourth mission? Even if we got contact, we have no seduce progress, and there's only a minute and ten on the clock. There's just almost no time to even get seduced unless you land two greens, like, right now. So this is yeah, probably going to be a timeout. Or, or it, a has, it has to be a frame, right? It has to it has to be going for a sieve shot. And in this case, now we're the only suspect who would be in with an SDA, but we leave that conversation, we bail on it, it's... We really just needed to be taking contacts, put pressure on the sniper to maybe find someone who's completing, and we haven't done that. Beanie Steam is is running out of time, running out of options, and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything. It's just going to be this timeout. Yeah, I was pathing towards Ambassador a little bit, maybe hoping to try and take a bug there. Um, and the end of red. Here's the fake, fake contact. contact is for right. us. We don't it, even know it's for us. Yeah, it's real for Twin who is talking, but it's not really forcing. We do another one right now. We could get Cowboy shot, but I don't think Beanie knows that, unfortunately. And so when I tick down to below 10 seconds, there's nothing we could do, even in desperation, because Thabsies could always just wait us out. Here comes the time ad. Thabsies is ready to take the shot before it even happens. Yep. And the set ends 7 1. Yeah, that's rough. Rough for Beanie slash Steam. You know, playing a very, very strong opponent who's fresh, back, ready to compete, um, has just kind of been hibernating. So it's it's unfortunate, but, you know, they, they tried hard, and there were some good uh, kind of moments of brilliance there. Um, just overall, you know, Tabsy's a really strong player. Yeah, Fabsy's is back, everyone. And that is a statement first set for...